valuable. Um, and even, let's say, you know, 26,000 years comes around and somebody's born on the exact same time that you are, they're not going to be born in the same place. I mean, that, I mean, the odds are there, you know, they can be born in the same place. But another factor is that we are all raised in different environments by different people and different situations and experiences. So that's what makes astrology really diverse. And that's why I wanted to put in my own little input on my ascending sign and how I perceive myself and the Scorpio ascending. And another thing, lastly, is the Pluto in Scorpio. Pluto in Scorpio is located on my ascendant in the first house. And um, people with Pluto rising are intense and they have a magnetic personality. Either people are drawn towards you or they're repelled and that's kind of the reason why I think in Scorpio in general that it's either black or white you know there's no really gray ground um, and that's why we tend to view life as a battlefield because it's uh, all either good or b bad with with people and and some experiences um, the Pluto and Scorpio generation is a very unique and important generation. Um, sadly, you know, I'm going to dog on Libra and Pluto a little bit. They're, you know, already adults. They're like, you know, 30 years old and older, you know, some a little bit younger than 30. But anyways, I think they, you know, drop the ball you know, so to speak, because, you know, they're in the world right now, they're, they're out there doing their thing, and they, you know, have made differences, but not really super significant differences, and I think as our generation grows up, we're going to bring the change to the world that needs to be done, you know, it's, it's a really incredible time to live right now, and we're all in this boat together, so quit trying to throw people off the boat. Um, Pluto in Scorpio deals with all the taboo things, you know, sex, tattoos, piercings, um, war, and um, Pluto and Scorpio are linked. They say the modern ruler of Scorpio is in fact Pluto. So anyone who has uh, Scorpio heavily in their chart, transformation is going to be a very key thing. Um, Pluto generally deals with transformation and rebirth and death. Another quick thing I'd like to add is um, Pluto, or um, excuse, excuse me, uh, Scorpio ascending is is um, usually around birth. There's death linked to it. Um, I asked my mom, and I guess one of my relatives died a few months before I was born. And interestingly, um, me and my mom almost died when I was a baby. I was a huge baby. I was a week late. I was 11 pounds and 3 ounces. Yes, I was a huge baby. Um... My shoulders were dislocated, and I guess the umbilical cord was wrapped around my leg. But my mom had a natural birth, and I was really, like, bruised up and puffy in the face. And, uh, yeah, like, we both of us almost died. So, um, another thing that I'd like to say is that Scorpio Ascending has to shed the... Uh, psychological skin throughout life you know it's on the first house so like you know Scorpio scorpions shed their skin their exoskeleton you know like a snake or a bug and that psychological skin I'm talking about could be considered the ego death I've had several experiences, you know, a few in my life that have totally changed my perception on life, and 
it's, you know, if I were to be asked, would you change that? You know, would you go through that shit again? And I say no. It's made me who I am today as a person. And I'm grateful for that. It um, makes me really grateful for the experiences we do have. And um, with that, thank you. Blessings of harmony and truth.